When I was six years old, I used to sit in the back of my dad's Cortina with a hanger and drive, pretending that hanger to be a steering wheel. By the time I was 14, I realised that I had an obsession with speed. I bought myself a car, and that was it. I haven't looked back. <laughs> Now I'm going to race and rally across the world. <laughs> Meet legends. You always like speed. Could never get enough of it. Professional drivers. It is like a drug, and you want to do more. People obsessed with speed. Like me. Now I don't know what your title is over King there. King of speed, bruv. King of speed. Woo! Where's the ejector button? I've wanted to eject out of these things every now and then. So far, I've seen how the US has irrevocably shaped the cars we drive. I put my finger on the moment that cars went from things that got us from A to B to machines of speed and beauty. And I've seen the darker side of racing. The underground scene, the drag racing, the kids love it. How those who broke the law created America's most popular motorsports. Now I'm going to discover how man's addiction to fast cars evolved on this side of the Atlantic, shaping European motorsports. To do this, I'm going to attempt a secret ambition. Learn how to rally drive. Mum, I'm OK. All right, don't worry about this. I'm back in London, where the European leg of my journey begins. In America, I experienced NASCAR and drag racing. But how do we Europeans like to race road-worthy motors? The answer is, we rally them in fast and furious cross-country time trials. This is the way to Monty that only a rally driver would take on in the depth of winter. And what... Rallying is one of the most dangerous driving disciplines. Rally drivers set their best times in tough all-terrain courses in modified road cars. Rallying is almost as old as the motor car itself. And today's high-octane World Rally Championship draws legions of fans. It requires dexterity, lightning-quick reactions, and bravery that borders on the insane. Rallying is about the synergy between man and machine. It's not enough to drive the car, you really need to know its limits. If I'm going to master rallying, I need to learn the techniques of off-roading. In Lanarkshire in the Highlands of Scotland, I'll be going back to basics. This is how many rally drivers start out, on a bike. Like drifting, trial biking is a way of bonding with your machine and learning about balance and throttle control. Except, if I get this wrong, I'll end up on my ass in the mud. In short, it's an off-road obstacle course with penalties for errors like putting your foot down. The four-time British champion and future tip for the world title is Yorkshireman James DeBille. Today, he's showing me the ropes. James, where, where did Charles, trial biking start? Where did it come from? Uh, Charles has been around for, you know, over 100 years now and... Um, 100 years? Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Well, I've been, I've been riding motorcycles since I was three years old and I've been competing in trials since I was seven, so seven, 20, wow. 20 years. Wow. Yeah. Trial biking, what's, what's, what makes it that? It's mainly about balance, throttle control, um, the skill and techniques of riding over obstacles right. in, in, a, in an allotted time. That might be like riding over a log or over a rock or through a river or up a river. First, I need to master the bike. So we're going to start with a straightforward ride around the field. You sure you're sure about this? Yeah, definitely. I haven't done be this right. before. It'll be all right. Beginner's luck. That's it. That's it. 
Let it roll and then gently build your revs back in. So nice and steady with throttle, not as much revs. I can see why many rally drivers start with trials. It's about going steady, holding back from the throttle and keeping your balance. Again, nice wide turn. Stay nice and smooth. Beautiful. More than anything, mastering one of these okay, teaches you restraint. Going around you just a little bit, a little bit aggressive on throttle. Right. He's doing really well. He's listening. You know, he started to build his speed up a little bit more, a little bit more confident in the corners, um, making a better job of everything, really. That's it. Starting to look like a pro now. Oh. Tell you, it takes it out of your hands, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm going to have to navigate my bike over a short course of muddy peaks nice and troughs. Set off, get your balance. It looks simple enough. Come up around here. Yep, you've got it nice and wide. So nice and steady into here. Make sure you don't clip your foot peg because we don't want to be fishing you out of pond. You know, I'm just going to go for it. It's first time trying it and just see what happens. Nice and steady. Nice throttle control, keep it rolling. That's it. Nice and steady. Let it roll, let it roll. Go on, you've got it, you've got it. Hold it, use that one. A lot trickier than what you think. A lot trickier. You need less revs than that. Just nice and smooth as you set off, let it roll. It's hard, it's very hard, it's not easy. I'm just going to keep trying and see what happens. That's it, a little bit better. Try not to get throttle happy again. Remember what we said up flat? A little bit of throttle, nice and smooth with a clutch. James is a good teacher and he was just trying to explain to me how to just trust the bike's weight, trust the movement of it. Lovely there, lovely. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. You know, it is a lot of effort moving that bike about. Don't panic, don't panic. Let it run. <laughs> I can't figure out how I want to put my back wheels onto that. You don't need to worry about your back wheel. I'm getting a little frustrated not being able to do that one section. So, James and I are going to have a cup of tea. Do you remember being that bad? My first ever trial. I was in the same boat as you, you know, getting frustrated and I, I couldn't do it. And I remember kind of leaning my bike on a bank and saying, you know, sitting there with my arms folded, telling my dad, I don't want to do it anymore. And uh, actually, a, a girl rode through the section, like, <laughs> really easy. And that were it then, straight away, I was <laughs> back on the bike. <laughs> I was well away. So. How old were you? Uh, seven. What? Seven? seven? Seven years old, yeah. When I was at school, uh, you know, every minute of the day I was thinking about riding my bike and, you know, I, I had it in, in my mind straight away that I, w I wanted to be a, a top rider in the World Trials Championship to actually win it with, with wow. special, yeah. And just like James when he was seven, I'm not going to let this beat me. So I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, taking the uh, champion's bike. Tried nicking my bike. <laughs> You don't need any more throttle than what you've already got on. Keep it rolling. Right, this time. That's it, let it roll, let it roll. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on! Sorry, I dropped the bike. Don't worry about that. It doesn't matter. We've cleaned it. Oh. Yes. Perfect.
Wow, man. You couldn't have done that any better. <laughs> 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 Confidence, man. That's all it was. Mate, you were, you were so relaxed compared to what you are. Yeah. Before, when you were coming in there, you were coming in way too, like, oh, yeah. what am I doing, what am I doing, panicky. Yeah. But that time, as soon as I said, let it roll, you just let it roll yeah. straight out. <laughs> Wicked. It's such a sense of achievement, I tell you. It was for me. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I feel like I'm ready to take on the challenge of a full-powered rally car. Built by Colin McRae's team in the UK, the Fiesta R2 will be my ride. I've learned that to drive fast, it's not all about the speed, it's about control. Sounds simple. I just hope that strategy will be enough to get me round one of Europe's deadliest rally courses. I'm heading to the spiritual home of rallying, Finland. This country has produced more world rally champions per head than any other nation. It's a land of forests, winding roads and fearless drivers. It's here that I will realize my dream. This is Max Vatanen, son of one of the greatest rally drivers ever, Ari Vatanen. He's offered to give me a lift in the car I'll be driving in two days' time. Gas, gas, gas. OK, now we are the jumps. No braking here. Always keep flat out. Now the fifth chair, biggest chair. Yep. Now you can enjoy the landscape. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nice corner here. Small braking. No braking. Fourth chair. Up. It's easy. You just turn the steering wheel where you want to go and gas. You thought he's gonna hit? Yeah, he's <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna hit it. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Great, man. <laughs> great, great driving. Woo. This morning when I went alone, it, I went much faster. Is it because I'm heavy? Because you're heavy. <laughs> oh, man. That was, uh, I think, exhilarating is probably the best word I can think about right now. I think people that look at the rally driving and go, ah, oh, it's just a bunch of geezers driving around in the mud. No, dude. <laughs> no, it's not driving around in the mud. It's very, very difficult. And this oh, is the great man himself, Ari Vatanen. Still alive. OK, I get it. I help you. I help you come out. Get the... Wow. Oh, some some aggro Let's, oh. Let's take the helmet. Let's take your helmet off. You're sweating. Why? And you haven't you, you haven't done anything. No, no, don't let it. Let me oh, man. let me get this uh, strap off. Uh, uh, uh. You look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, handsome even. Handsome, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mad Vikings, man. They go for it, man. They not scared. Not scared. No fear. Despite a few hairy moments, Vatanen would go on to achieve success in the 81 World Championship. Harry was crowned World Rally Drivers Champion in 1981. His driving style was all or nothing. Won this year by 41 seconds. Harry drove around the crazy time of the Group B cars, and in the 1985 Rally Argentina, he almost lost his life. It took 18 months battling serious injury before Harry drove competitively again. He went on to win the Paris-Dakar four times. And Pikes Peak, the infamous hill climb in the US, which is still regarded as one of the greatest drives ever seen.
what does it feel like to 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 finish culture to have you know a legend like you now you know like what is it uh, being a legend uh, i don't know i uh, of course i i realize that uh, life has unfolded for me in a very 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 special way that i could have never never ever imagined and of course you can't deny there's this aspect of anxiety because something can happen i nearly died in argentina i had some major accidents and now i realize how tough life has been for my wife and uh, you have to live your life to the full and believe in your dreams because life belongs to those who who yeah. believe in the beauty of their dreams how, how long have you been driving like when did you start driving I, yeah. with the tractor when I was, uh, I think, six years, uh, six years of age, my father left somewhere and uh, said, now alone you can drive. And I was, uh, sort of hay bales, I took them back to the barn and things like that. At, At six? Six. But I just had this one, one idea in my mind, I mean, to drive and how to go sideways and how to handle it. And like somebody would have uh, how to play piano. Well, car was my piano and yeah. has always been. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to learning. Um, you know how to control that car, the the, the the mechanism of being, you know, a man and machine. You need to you need to feel uh, you're part of it. Car is extension of your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. You express yourself, and in, but instead of a painting brush, you have a car. Right. Yeah. And and well, sometimes some of the paint will go uh, over the frame, but over the frame, all over the place. But that's life. That's yeah. life. And yeah. <laughs> what do you think it is about Finland? You know. That makes you guys so competitive and so. Finnish character. I mean, we say that we don't we don't speak, we don't kiss. Right. We are not good in diplomacy. It is uh, straight yeah, to the straight point. Straight to the point. But that suits uh, individual sports. Ari is taking me to where Finns start their lives as off-roaders. I've heard that kids are racing around these vast Arctic landscapes from the age of six. Just like I did in Scotland, these youngsters are starting out on two wheels, meeting up to race week in, week out. No wonder it's ingrained in their blood. What's wrong with the Finns, Harry? Why are they putting the kids on the track? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with their parents? It's fun for them. They learn discipline and they learn to fix their bikes. And uh... <laughs> Do you think that's why Finland has, you know, a high number of fantastic rally drivers and motorsports? Because they start so young. Yeah. You have to start young and in order to filter the good ones out, I mean, uh, you need to mobilize your troops. Yeah. And in any case, if you want to become good, you have to start young. I mean, like here, this track is in the middle of the village, and it's mainly financed by the parents. So this is, this is part of the culture. I think what's a great thing is the bonding between parents. And, and the children remains very good. So I think it is you should start maybe motocross or rallying with your with your daughter. <laughs> yeah. She's a speed freak. She loves uh, you know roller coasters, so she might like this. Terve, terve. Ter, terve, terve. Terve, hi. So terve, how are you? Ari, who's the, who's the youngest? Who's the youngest? Yeah, uh, yeah he. So I think he's uh, eight years old. Yeah. Who has the fastest bike? Your friend or, or you? Ah, you. Yeah. And, and you and you are faster than him. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You remember of Heikki Mikkola? Yes. Yeah. Of course, he was many times world champion. And do you remember of Ari Vatanen, who's this old guy? Yeah. Do you remember him? Who's that? Yeah. I don't know. Who is that? Yeah. But of course, you know Idris. He doesn't yeah. know Idris. Yeah. <laughs> but now you know, you know. Yeah. But I want to see where the kids graduate to full-size cars. What are we doing now? But well, now we are going to this field, because that's how 
young Finnish uh, guys like I used to start at the age of 12 when I started driving. You have a, an old car, an old uh, nearly written off car and, and uh, private land and uh, no rules, just go for it. Just go for it. Listen, honestly, if I put my mind to it, yeah. by the time I'm 43, I'm 40 now, I could be a professional rally driver. Well, uh, that, I would say that's a long shot, my friend. What? That's a long shot. You haven't seen me drive yet. I think we should make a three years. Three, I said. three, year, three, uh, years. three year contract, and I'm, I'm your. Shall I take uh, thirty percent of your income then? Uh, what? Of your thirty percent uh, is a little high. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Come on. Given, come on. given where we start from, it's only fair. For all you know, well, I have the natural ability to convert a car into myself. <laughs> <laughs> Young guys who are here, these old cars, piece of field here. Ah, and my daughter. This uh, is your daughter. Hi. Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. This is a cheap way to uh, start to throw your car about. You don't need any 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 permission, and you just have to be safe, of course. Yeah. Well, I think Idris, I should start to find out how good you are as a driver, and how many years would it take for you to become a champion? Me. Yeah, let's go for it now. I'm about to find out that this off-road rally business is a whole different ball game to driving on tarmac. I was eager to jump in the car. I couldn't wait. Like, I've been thinking, right, I'm going to drive this motor. I'm going to drive it around that track. It looks simple enough. Yeah, here to enjoy. Just take fuel up. Sir. It's quite rough, you know. Oh, more throttle. More throttle. Look at that. They're rooting you on. Good, good. OK, oh, good, good. After when it goes like that, you need to lift the throttle and just get the timing right with the uh, steering wheel. OK, good. And, uh, relax, 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 just relax, OK? If I'm honest with you, I was a little disappointed in my performance. Don't let it go like that. It's better that you actually turn it. OK. Yeah, yeah. Try to be more steady with the throttle. Okay. Here you can accelerate and then brake into a corner. Obviously, he tries too hard. Now brake. Brake. And a brake bit earlier, OK. And now steady. Open here. Yeah, exactly. No, no. No problem. Stole it. No problem. Idris does the classic mistakes of the, of the beginner. So he turns, uh, he turns, uh, he works far too hard on the steering wheel, uh, turning too much left, turning too much right. When he cuts sideways, of course, he should lift off, but he keeps on throttling, so that it goes too much sideways. And he keeps opposite lock too late. So it's not get the timing right. So basically, I'm rubbish. <laughs> is, that, is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. I was struggling to get around it, and he jumped in the car and just boom. Now, this is how a master does it. Yeah, OK, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, this up point too, because this car started to pick up. My driving style has always been wild, very spectacular, going for it. I thought we was going to crash into that little barn over there. I thought, this is, this is us into the barn. I have tried to maximize each corner in my life, living life to the full, breaking always very late in the real corners, symbolically. You end up having many mistakes, many accidents, but uh, you live a very intense and, and meaningful life. Himself, my go-driver. You're a legend. You're a legend. My go-driver. I mean, now he knows what he's into. And uh, yes, and he likes it. Ari says, you know what, you've got you got some work to do, but we can work on it. It's my second day in Finland. And Ari is giving me a crash course in Finnish culture. Just staying around his, you know, beautiful house, and he keeps telling me, you know, I've got sauna. You like sauna? I said, yeah, sauna. We have dinner, we have a glass of wine, we're chatting, and he goes, oh, I did this after. We'll go sauna. I said, okay, yeah, cool. 
I showed up at the sauna, I've got my towel, got my stuff. He's walked out of the sauna, stark bollock naked, little willy hanging out. I'm like, are you, you all right, Harry? He's like, oh, yeah, he'll come in. And I'll I just met the man, and he's just walking around naked. The Finns seem more uninhibited. But that's maybe what makes them so great behind the wheel. It's a double, 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 sir. It's a gravel on the surface, you see her. And, and the, the noise is genuine. And sometimes I'm helping with the clutch because yeah. it would have too much wheel spin. Yeah. Here, look, look at braking. Just, that was like 180 kilometers an hour. A short braking and into a left hand corner. Yeah. And now 50 already. Because acceleration of that car from zero to 200 was less than 10 seconds. Look at, I nearly spin here. Look at, look at how it goes, how it goes. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Had I lifted it so, off, I would have spun and gone backwards. Had you lifted off the No, 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 no you mustn't. No. If you did, you would have gone. No, no, forward drive car, you must floor it. You must, Keep you must going floor it. Forward, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't lift off. I don't lift off. Is that a drop right there? But that was inside, it's OK. Rallying is about the synergy between man and machine. It's not enough to drive the car. You really need to know its limits. I'm so eager to do it right, you know what I mean? Like, my personality type of person, I just want to learn something. I, want, I don't want to do it half good. I want to do it good or don't do it at all. So um, I'm not apprehensive. I'm sort of eager for it. But, you know, I am yeah, a bit nervous about it. No, but today's going to be good, man. Like, you know, Ari Vatinan and, and, and this driving school, they have world-class rally drivers come around and do the track, you know can't buy this rally course in Argos. Do you know what I mean? This is like proper. So um, I'm excited. This is where it gets serious. First, I'll spend the day training with Max in the practice vehicle. Driving on gravel is deadly. With hardly any grip, it doesn't matter how fast you go. If you don't have control, you'll crash. So I don't wreck the car on my first attempt. I'm going to be drilled on basic cornering techniques. This is brake. Break as much as you have to, to to get the right speed for the following corner. You'll turn the car with the gas. Steering is less, acceleration more. Good. That's the very cool gas. Yes. Yes. Simple. Yep. That's simple. race driving. Simple. And we'll be sitting with you, giving you instruction. Who gives me the feedback, Ari? We'll do. If something happens, there are only two things you need to do. Turn off the engine, turn off the main switch. If the car is upside down or in an awkward position, open the belts and get out. Gotcha. Just remember, long power slide, Idris. That's all. All right. Bit more throttle, less steering wheel, and you will do it. All right, man. OK, you will have fun. I think Idris um, underestimates the, the task uh, he has in his hands because the thing is that uh, he's only in the beginning now in the real gravel driving. Good braking. Shit. I think it is, it's better if we stay on the small track. No. No. You want to do this? Yes. OK. The hardest thing when you're driving is knowing your own limits. I may have reached mine, but I don't want to accept defeat. Not now. OK, let's, let's make it. Stop here, stop here. You have to calm down now, you yeah. have a calm attitude. Otherwise, really, we, we'll go off. OK. And if we go off, everything stops. So remember, yeah. it's 
you know, you don't have to prove to any anybody. Yeah. Anything. And the most... Just to it, myself. Exactly. Yeah, if we go out, we can even hurt ourselves. All right. Hurt the car. And then, all even, you will lose all your confidence for all your trip here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, just go step by step. Okay. Bye, Baba. So this here, the place where I tell you to break, break it down. Okay. Sorry? I'm not going to let anything happen to us, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, no, no risk. But still, still the braking, really. I've got to be more aggressive in the brakes. They're not sharp. I can't feel them. So. so with the wise words of Max ringing in my ears, I had a new determination. And then... I just hit it. I think, it was, I think the oversteer was on as well. So I was like... Yeah, of course, you had already, but of course. Boom! And, uh, and we were like half a second on the two wheels. I know, we were like that. We, we were here like this for like two seconds. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> yeah, because when you, when you clip inside, and it just, um, it's unforgiving. It's unforgiving. Yeah. Went a bit too fast and did a really basic mistake. He cut the corner and, and then re-rolled. Simple as that. I never want to do that again, though, I'll tell you now. You will, you will. <coughs> I can I tell you, you will. If you want to continue your driving... I do want to continue driving. Get driving, Definitely. of course you will. So, I mean, these every now and then, they are inevitable. No, I just never want to do it. It's just not a nice uh, feeling. Is that your first, uh, first time you rolled your yeah, car? Yeah, first time I'm in First the, time yeah. ever. And Max was cool as a fan. He was like, just open the door. Of so course. I, I so he has done it already a few times, so. <laughs> <laughs> One time, you said. Oh. No, I, oh I was talking I about my first time. I, I, vis I visited I visit was only once for Max, but uh, <laughs> I remember a few more bills. It's not easy to be a driver. There's so many things you have to learn. And even if you drive fast, you have to control your speed. It's not about going fast everywhere. But uh, I think he, he learned it now. I did like four or five really wicked powered slides, you know. And just to come here and make a stupid mistake and hit the bank and roll is like stupid. But uh, that means get your back wheels back on the road and keep it moving. <laughs> I learned some finish while I'm here. I didn't learn any rally driving, but I learned some finish. <laughs> oh, man. Tomorrow is still very much, you know, I'm in my sights. So like, I really want to achieve what we came here to achieve, you know? Um, I'm not put off by this. I actually, I'm strengthened by it, you know? and legacy was put at risk today with, with my crash. <laughs> no, 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 not, not, not at all. There was a, there was a, you know, not 50-50. There was a 50-60 chance that you would do it. I wasn't going fast. You know, the car just had a mind of its own when it hit that bank. Gone. You, but you know why that happened? Because at that point of time, you had you had the person of Vatanen, but you had your own arms. Right. Yeah, exactly, and that combination, you know, it's... <laughs> so your task was nearly missing impossible for one day. Right. You don't become a Nelson Mandela overnight, do you? <laughs> so you can't become a new British rally champ in one night either. So come on, That's come true. on. But now the role is out of your system. You were trying too hard today. I, I could see it, you, uh, you knew that how much was expected from you. And uh, I mean, let's, let's be realistic. I mean, you have gone a long, uh, long way today and, uh, and you need to go with the flow. How did you, I mean, you, you had a pretty, you had a pretty horrific crash at the height of your career. Yeah, 85, that in Argentina. That was supposed to be my, uh, my second world championship year, and uh, it turned out, turned out to be a very, very nearly a fatal, a fatal year for me. And, but the life is like that. Can I ask you, yeah. what was the, like, last moments? Like, what actually happened? Because I can tell you what happened mm. with my crash today. Beat for beat. Because you did it slowly. 
But what? Do you remember? No, I don't know. I don't remember. Don't remember. I, no, I don't remember anything from my accent because I, I very nearly lost my life right on the spot. And uh, afterwards, it was just so checkered. It was like a roller coaster. My, my life for, for a few months and nearly for a year. And I, I fell into very deep uh, mental uh, depression. Yeah. And, and, and that lasted for half, half a year. And suddenly, I awake like from a nightmare. And you say, it's not true. And then by that time, my legs were, you know, just about working again, and, and, uh, and I was back in life. And what matters is that you're passionate about it. You want to learn, and you, you will learn. Yeah. So in exchange, I mean, you take me into some acting, acting school, I mean? Yeah. Uh, no, I would put you in a film. Ah, OK. I would. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. The deal is done. The deal is done. Done, OK. All right. But now we go to sauna. Yeah. <laughs> he won't give up, will he? Today, I get to drive a 200 brake horsepower rally car on one of the toughest stages of the Finnish rally. More than anything, I want to make Ari proud and not come off the track. Max asked me a few years ago, Dad, do you think it's too late to learn driving? I was nearly in tears when I heard that because he had never shown any interest in rallying, and, but I had never pushed him either. And now he's flat out in rallying and uh, in a way, I'm uh, <laughs> very proud of him, but him, I'm very proud of that passion, that he's passionate about something. That he doesn't want to be just a spectator in his life. That's the whole thing, that you, know, you don't see the life going past you, but you are, you are in the middle of it, you are in the, you're in the middle of the storm. This needs to be really tight, really tight, you know. Okay, good. Taking into consideration that we're staying in the four wheels. <laughs> I, I am, I'm, I'm the sort of guy that, you know, if, if I walk past a button and a button says, do not push in big, bold letters, walk past it once, walk past it twice, have a look about, push it, <laughs> see what happens. OK, Idris, time to go. Now you can show what you're made of, but stay with me to the cheese. OK, off you go. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, I felt Idris was, was a bit nervous. Of course, everything is new. But uh, then, when we went to the starting line, when he put his seat belts tight, he has a helmet, and I start to count him down. He was only focused on the driving. There was only him and the car. So, I like that. Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Remember the lines inside. Yeah, perfect. The couple of training days have been mixed, you know, positive and some negative. And the whole time, you know, Max and uh, his dad. You know, Ari had been just like, no, 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 you, you get back up on that horse and you keep going, you keep going. Keep the second, go, you can go. Good break. Okay. Suddenly, it's all coming together. I feel focused, relaxed, and for the first time on this trip, I truly understand why this country is so good at this. It's clear to me that Finns don't fear. I don't think they're thinking, I'm going to risk my life. I think they're saying, I'm going to push my life to the limit. It's about knowing your limits. If you can run fast, you know, know how fast you can run. You know, don't say, oh, I can run fast and not really push yourself. I believe you need to follow the call of your heart because, you know, if you try to avoid your destiny, you can't avoid it anyway. I mean, banana skin uh, in life is waiting for you around the corner. Yeah, good. Now you have good braking. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Perfect. 
It happens so quickly and so instinctually, you know, you can reflect on it. Like, like now, I can go, right, OK, I know what that was like. But at the time, it's really noisy. You, you, you're just aware that you're inches away from just tippling over, especially, like, after I've rolled a car, like, you know what I mean? And, like, you're hitting those corners, you're just really aware that you can't make a mistake. We did it. This is like a victory for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Woo! <laughs> well, we all know that uh, he's not going to be a, be a new world champion for Britain, but <laughs> that's irrelevant. He's passionate about life, he's passionate about uh, his real work, but he's just as passionate about driving, about speed, and he wants to discover it. He doesn't mind putting his neck uh, uh, down on the line. And, well, that's, that's how one should do it, uh, push the limits uh, further and, uh, and, and, and on top of that, he's a nice chap. I'm sore, because it is a physical thing. You've got a seatbelt sitting on your shoulders, you've got a massive helmet, you know, like, yeah. So I think I'm going to... Uh... Harry's trying to get me to go to the sauna or something. And then a hot tub. Hot tub. Sounds good, but I don't know. So we'll see. I tell you what, after all this driving around, I need a massage. Oh yeah, oh no, yeah. No, not for ah. me. Not oh, for you, well. Harry. I'm oh. all right, thanks. I'm, I'm good at it. But Fine. thanks, sir. Offering. Hulligan, Gulligan. Hulligan, Gulligan, uh, Idris. Very good. Had a good weekend? It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's been like, uh, you know, I learned so many new skills. I got to come to a beautiful part of the world. I got to meet you and your beautiful family. Amazing people. Uh, I even got the wheels upside down. Yeah, a bit is part of it. You said you wouldn't mention it. This is part of it. Yeah, this is part of it. But you're mentioning it now. You said you wouldn't. <laughs> and so that's it. You, you are a man. Idris, you know what? You know, Finnish men, men, they are naked like we are now. And only my very best of my friends, I will take them to an excellent special sauna. Let's go there. Okay. <laughs> 